Hey everybody, this is Russ from Retro Game Core. So I have a special review for you today. This is one that I've been asked to do a lot. And so today we're gonna do a review of Chicken the Cat. And this is my cat here. We've had her for about 13 years now. And I think it's about time to do an in-depth review and talk about all the things I like about this cat and all the things I don't like about this cat. We've got a lot of ground to cover and we only have four or five minutes to do it. So let's just jump into it. Let's start with a quick unboxing here. Now the packaging is very plain with this, but for some reason the device kept wanting to get back into the box, and I'm not really sure what was up with that, but it's definitely something you need to keep in mind if you're planning on buying something like this. So first impressions right out of the box here, it is very nice to touch. It feels really good in the hand, but for some reason I was getting a bunch of hair all over my hands. And it also shows up in all my videos for some reason. Now let's compare it against some similar models. So just from the touch, you can tell that chicken is just a livelier specimen here. And then this other thing, which is just some random cat I stole from my son's bed, it's not very responsive. You know, it's mushy, but not mushy in a good way. And I could only find one button altogether, and I'm not really sure what it does. I think it's some sort of function button. Now by comparison, chicken has zero buttons, but at the same time, she's very nice to touch. Looking at another model here, here is Momo the dog. We've had her for about nine years now. She doesn't like being on the desk like this, but overall, a very nice and obedient dog. Who's a good dog? Momo's a good dog. Okay, let's check responsiveness of input here. Now, as you can tell, it's not very responsive. I would say there's some significant input lag with this device. No matter how many times I call her, she would barely come to me. And when she did, she kind of didn't know what to do. And so, in just in general, I think that, you know, Momo is probably much better when it comes to input like this. She's very obedient. Cats, not so much. Okay, let's take a minute and talk about playability. We're gonna use a rubber band here just for our demonstration. And as you can see here, she is definitely responding to it, uh, but it's actually not very fun to play with her because she has like these sharp claws and teeth. And also all she actually wants to do is just eat the rubber band itself. So really when it comes down to it, it starts out being a very playful experience, but in the end, uh, I really didn't enjoy it. So maybe steer clear from using rubber bands if you have a cat like this. Also make sure they don't eat them because it's gonna show up in their poop and it's totally gross. And an unfortunate thing is that she loses interest very, very quickly. So no matter what you do, it's really not going to last long. So you're probably only going to get about maybe 30 seconds of playtime with the device. Okay, so in terms of ergonomics, this cat cannot be beat. For some reason, she only likes being held in two different positions. One, she likes being held like a baby. And two, she also likes being held like a baby, like on your shoulder. And I think it comes from just watching our sons grow up and being burped and held and stuff like that. These are the two forms she prefers. Now when it comes to recharging the batteries, also super simple. All you have to do is give it some meat, maybe some tuna fish, things like that, and it charges right up. It's about 30 seconds of charging altogether, maybe an ounce every meal, but be sure to charge it regularly. Okay, wrapping things up here, let's go over what I like and what I don't like about Chicken the Cat. Let's start with what I like. Well, it's everything. She's my cat. Now let's talk about what I don't like, and that's an easy one. I don't like her cat poop. We've had this cat for 13 years, and if you imagine she poops once a day, that's nearly 5,000 turds that we've had to deal with in her lifetime. That sucks. So at the end of the day, like with any other review, you have to compare whether or not this is worth your time and money. And honestly, cats are great. But if you don't like poop, maybe something like this stuffed animal cat is gonna be the right fit for you. That's really gonna be your call. Me, I'm sticking with the cat. All right, everyone, that's it for this video. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below and be sure to like and subscribe if you found this helpful and we will see you next time. Happy April Fool's Day.